Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting because if you don't know, Elf collaborated with American Eagle to bring us this beautiful and simple collection. I didn't buy much of the collection because what I wanted sold out so I thought it was just fine if I just bought the palette to try out and do two different looks with it. So this is the Elf X American Eagle Denim Days Eyeshadow Palette. This retailed for $16 and you get beautiful 12 pan eyeshadow palette in here with a lovely mirror. It's a 12 blue and neutral eyeshadow palette in a range of matte and shimmer shades inspired by your favorite pair of American Eagle jeans. Now I don't know why I bought this because I've never owned a pair of American American Eagle jeans before but I had a pair of leggings once and I own a pair of pants. I don't know if they're women's pants or men's pants but they look really nice and they're American Eagle but I bought them at Marshall's. I'm broke all the time so I don't shop American Eagle. My boyfriend gave me a task to create a look with cute overall high rise and to die for on one eye and then on the second eye he wanted me to use indigo, 90s vibes, and OOTD. So I'm definitely going to swatch this palette. From top to bottom I have cute overall, cargos, corduroy, low rise, high rise, mom jeans, to die for, indigo, outfit of the day, bell bottoms, 90s vibes, and major flare. Very cute shades i love how the palette has like a little tag elf always kills these like weird but fitting collections at the same time when i saw american eagle i was just like that is so weird why would they collaborate with american eagle but like now looking at the palette with my hands it's actually very pretty and the color story is very nice denim inspired eyeshadow palette in my opinion it looks more like a winter palette than a summer palette or a spring palette it is a beautiful palette nonetheless so i'm gonna go ahead prep my eyes and then we can get started i have zoomed you in i am prepped and primed first shades my boyfriend wanted me to use which was cute overall high rise and to die for over here with the blue purpley shift i still don't know how i'm going to incorporate it but he said i can blend with other shades but that those shades are the main focus i am gonna go ahead and take the shade cargos which is this like mid-tone beige i've heard that this palette is really good and i've heard that it's not so great so i don't know what to expect coming in here but let's see well that's actually really dark <laughs> okay so i'm gonna keep this towards the middle and end of my eye and i will deepen it up with something else but pretty pigmented with this shadow I even got a little bit of fallout right on my nose not a big deal because i don't have the rest of my makeup on and i start with my eyes first so I figured those were all things that i should mention i actually really really like the way that looks and i think i'm gonna change directions a little bit actually because this is not mint tone at all it looks more cool tone it looks more like it has a bit of gray in it which is perfect because i think i'm gonna use the dark gray in here to deepen this up kind of goes better with that to die for shade i usually love elf i love anything they do but sometimes their eyeshadows can be a little hit or miss and you sometimes you have to work a little harder with them these are actually looking really nice and they're blending really nice as well i really enjoy the way that looks i think it looks great Okay, and to deepen this up, I am going to take this shade called Major Flare. Just think that it will look really good with this cargo shade right on the end here. But like, I'm just going to focus this like right on the end. Maybe like bring it up a little bit, but mostly keeping this towards the end. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm quite tired today and if I look a little tired it's because it's Monday and like Monday is like, you know, the start of the week and it's just like, mm, you know. I actually love these two shades together and I haven't seen anyone doing this combination. I feel like I can get a really nice smoky look with this deep gray which i feel like is underrated a lot of people go for black but i feel like a dark gray can be very powerful as well you don't need black all the time actually also easier to kind of 
go the smoky with gray than it is black sometimes so i really like this looking quite like a 90s smoky eye cool toned smoky eye very pretty i'm obsessed right now hopefully it stays that way now this isn't really how i want to incorporate high rise into my look but i am going to take a little bit of high rise and i'm going to use this to kind of clean up my edges a little bit not make it worse not make it not making not me making it worse this is why you need a color switch these will save your butt it's just all smoky now i guess it's fine it's not what i wanted to happen but you know it happened this is looking very much it's giving wednesday atoms and i'm not mad at it at all okay so i feel like these shimmers do need a little bit of glitter primer but i'm trying to not go ham with the glitter primer because mine's already kind of it's already kind of dead it don't have a tip and i keep it in a ziploc to be fair i've had it for a good amount of time and i'm determined to put it in an empties video not just throw it away because the packaging broke yeah when i get my money's worth i don't mean to be weird i just I'm just applying glitter primer with my finger because I feel like I get it the best way and I'm gonna use that on the entire lid bringing it up a little bit towards the crease because I like to do that I just think it's cute it's a cute look right now but the shimmers are definitely gonna soften it a little <laughs> I'm gonna take the shade to die for right on my finger ooh, ooh, ooh pretty nice i mean i've seen better but i have pretty high makeup standards anyway so we're just gonna put to die for right on the center that is like our star shade hopefully that glitter primer helps it to kind of look its best you know it's really pretty i really enjoy the way that looks this look is definitely giving me 90s vibes but i feel like this whole collection was meant to do that i'm a 2000 baby so i don't know too much about the 90s but i do have siblings who know a bit about the 90s and a boyfriend who knows about the 90s so yeah that's really nice okay i mean the shimmers are working very well with my glitter primer i feel like if you're going to use this that's definitely the way to go is to use like a glitter primer i feel like it'll really help these shades i am gonna go back into the shade cargos and i'm also gonna use my clean finger to like kind of blend the blue more this way into that gray shade so it's not so harsh for the inner corner, I'm just going to take any pencil brush. This one's an old Kylie brush that I have. And I'm going to dip it into the shade High Rise. Hopefully this works the way I think it will. And I'm going to pop it right in the inner corner. Kind of bringing it into the rest of this look. I don't know if you can even see that rub on. I really like that. I think that's really cute. I'm going to pop on some lashes and I will be right back. This is my look number one. Showcasing the shades Cute Overall, High Rise, and To Die For. I think it's really nice. I really like this combination of colors on the eyes. And I think it really inspires me to do more blue looks. I'm going to try more blue on this eye. Hopefully it looks good. But yeah, I really enjoy the way this looks. I'm also wearing the Kiss Lashes in the Style Jubilee. It's cute. I really like it. And I'm excited to play with the rest of this palette. So let's get started on look number two. Alrighty, so I have my eye primed. And I did spot clean my brushes. So I'm going to go in with the shade Indigo. And I'm going to use this as like the outer shade. And just start packing that on the outer end of the eye so far this shade is applying wonderfully and i'm having no issues i'm gonna start trying to blend this out just on the edges a little bit really pretty i really like this shade of blue it's definitely like a true indigo shade and for this look my boyfriend wanted me to use indigo 90s vibes and outfit of the day which is this 
really bright purple. So that's why I'm kind of deepening up this side so that purple can go there and so on and so forth. But I really like the way it looks. I'm going to go into my color switch, clean off this brush. But I'm also going to get a different brush. And this is one of my favorite brushes of all time. The e.l.f. crease brush. Precisely because you can just blend everything so easily with this brush. Because it's so nice and small so you don't have to worry about going crazy with the blend. You can keep everything very precise and right there so you don't have to worry too much about it. I love that about these brushes. I have multiple of them and I will continue to buy them because I just think they're the perfect tiny little blending brush. Like look how tiny it is. Especially for looks like this where you're starting with like a very bold color that you want to make sure it goes on and blends nicely. That brush is so convenient for that. I'm going to pack more on just because I feel like we lost a little bit of it. Blending. Very pretty. I really love this indigo shade. Especially with the way it's performing on the eyes. It looks really nice. Really blended. I really like that a lot. To help that blend, I am going to take the shade Mom Jeans on the tiny elf crease brush and going around these already blended edges just to make sure that they are more blended because I want to make sure that everything looks seamless. And then going in with that high rise shade going around that Mom Jeans shade just to make sure that the blend is in fact seamless with this very nice blue and again going back into that indigo shade just to make sure that it's wherever i need it to be again i'm gonna take my nyx glitter glue just gonna take this with my finger i'm just gonna take the glitter primer with my finger like i did on the other eye and just make sure that this is on my eyelid all over where i want to put my shimmers I'm making it very sticky and tacky. I'm going to go into the shade outfit of the day. It's very nice. Very, very nice. And this is going right on the end here. really like that, actually. I think I really, really do. That is really, really nice. And now I'm going to take the shade called 90s Vibes. And the shade is specifically 90s. Oh, this one is a foiled this is gonna get some fallout for sure all this silver is incredible wow that is insane and beautiful and i'm obsessed wow that silver is probably now my favorite shade in the entire palette wow that is stunning okay so i'm gonna take the shade mom jeans try to blend all this together oh also going back into indigo adding that wherever i lost that shade i love it okay i am going to finish off this eye put in some inner corner highlight and my lashes and i'll be right back and we can get into my final thoughts here is look number two with the more bluish eye look i love both of these eye looks. I tried to keep it kind of cohesive with the white eyeliner and the white inner corner, but I will say it's giving very much winter, ski lodge, snow. Like, that's what it's giving. It's giving very much icy, cold vibes. I feel like I definitely see myself mentioning this palette in an upcoming, like, palettes for winter. You know, I like to bust out palettes that I think are perfect for those times of years, just in case you already have it or you're looking for one in specific. I'm really loving this palette. I think it's very good. All right, guys, and this is the final look with the rest of my makeup done. I would love to hear your thoughts on this eyeshadow look. Does it give you winter vibes? Does it give you 90s vibes? Let me know in the comment section. But as far as this little eyeshadow palette goes, it impressed me so much. These shades are absolutely stunning, beautiful. I am obsessed. I think the packaging is very fitting. It feels like fake denim, but super cute it's such an odd collaboration but i feel like it's done very well and honestly these shades from elf performed like high-end shadows i'm really impressed and i'm pretty picky when it comes to eyeshadows i know what i like and that is that overall i rank this palette 
a 9 out of 10. Specifically a 9 because I feel like they're, the timing of the release of this palette is a little off. For me, I like different kinds of colors in the springtime. This isn't really a color story I would gravitate towards right now. I'm more into the colors and like bright sparkly colors on the lids, duo chromes, multi chromes. Right now, this to me screams winter. It could be Elf's way of being like one last release before winter's over, but we're well into spring, so this doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but I really like the formula. I like the colors on the eyes. It gives me 90s vibes for sure, 90s makeup vibes. I love the little details with the tag on the side. I really wanted the bag for this. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out this time and that's totally okay. Did you pick this palette up? Were you thinking about picking it up? It's still available as I'm currently filming this. I don't know if when this goes up, it'll still be available. But I know a lot of you really like e.l.f. and I know a lot of you really like e.l.f.'s formula. So let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Thank you so much for watching and for clicking on today's video. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! We're gonna put on some lip masks so my can- Okay. <laughs> I didn't know I was filming. <laughs> Alrighty. If you don't know yet, Elf collaborated with American Eagle Jeans. Is it American Eagle Jeans? I mean, it's American Eagle. So, we have the Elf X American Eagle Denim Days eyeshadow palette. We have the Elf Still available as I'm filming this video. So Elf collaborated with I can't even English. Let me start over. Let me just it it was a collaboration. It was so what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm